Okay, so the next movie I'm going to be talking about is Bad Lieutenant, which is directed by Abel Ferrara and stars uh, Harvey Keitel. The movie is about a New York police detective played by Harvey Keitel, who is kind of this down-his-look, sleazeball, uh, corrupt cop. He's a drug user. Um, he steals from people. He uh, sleeps around with his, you know, he has a wife, but he sleeps with prostitutes. Um, he um, sexually harasses people, like these two women. There's like a scene in a movie where he sexually harasses these two women to get them out of a, a out of a bind. And then, um, yeah, he's just like a very down low, uh, low grade kind of cop. But he is pulled into this case where a a young a nun is viciously raped by two men, and this kind of puts him on a redemption arc because he wants to find out these who these two guys are that raped this nun. But the nun won't say anything about who the guys are, and basically it just shows like his redemption of you know how how this crime inspired him to become a better person, I guess you would say, which uh, doesn't end well, but that's the basic plot of the movie. Um, yeah, this one I thought was pretty good. Uh, someone recommended me to watch this on Facebook, like, years ago, and I finally got around to watching it. Um, I don't know, I like watching, like, <laughs> unsettling movies like this, like this and the previous movie I reviewed, Cruising, and stuff like that, because I like to push my boundaries a bit, I guess. But, yeah, I really enjoy Harvey Keitel in this. I mainly know him, known him, or know him from Quentin Tarantino's movies, like Reservoir Dogs. And also, he also played the prostitute, not the prostitute, he played Jodie Foster's pimp in Taxi Driver. And, um, I haven't seen Mean Street Jets, but I needed to, but I know he played, you know, he plays in that one too. He plays in a bunch of like these gangster kind of movies. Um, but yeah, I found him to be really good in it. He's like the standout. He, well, he's the main character you follow in the movie anyways. He is like the standout character in this. Our actor and I felt his performance, performance was really good. Especially the scene where he has a breakdown in the church and he's like confessing his sins to Jesus and he's trying to repent. Um, yeah, he pulled off the very sleaze ball, like, kind of character that he has to be in this movie. Like I said, like, he kind of plays those type of characters in other movies, like, you know, in Taxi Driver, stuff like that. Um, yeah, the movie is kind of shocking. Like, like I said, like after a while, because if you watch like enough like shocking kind of movies and stuff, because I believe this movie has an NC seventeen rating, but uh, it was like very controversial when it came out, and I think like in the UK it got some of the scenes got cut out of it. Like, there's a scene in the movie where. He's doing heroin, him and a woman are doing heroin, and it shows, like, the process, and I think they cut that out in in the UK, because they said that it was promoting um, drug use, or teaching and promoting drug use, but yeah, that was, like, kind of disturbing scene, um, there's, um, you know, a scene where he harasses these two women in a, in a car, because they don't have uh, a their driver's license, they, they're using their dad's car or one of them. No, I think they're sisters. Yeah, he, he they're using their dad's car, and they don't have their license. And you know, he could have just said, oh, "I'll give you a warning," but no, he like sits there and like sexually harasses them. And it's not like anything graphic, but um, like, but it was just disturbing that. 
how he used his power to uh, get his way. And it was, it was like one of the most disturbing scenes in the movie. And it's not even like a graphic scene. Um, there's also, you know, the, the scene where the nun gets raped. That was pretty disturbing. Um, there's just other, other scenes and mainly just like heavy drug use and stuff. Now it's like, you know, you don't want really see in movies that much, but I watched a movie called Train Spot in two, uh, last night and that has, that's about drug use and stuff and it has about heroin and stuff, but yeah, like, um, like I said, the, and the movie shot well. It's acted, well, mainly by Harvey Keitel, because that's who you're following. But, yeah, um, I would recommend this movie. I mean, it's probably one I wouldn't watch again. And it, I didn't find it that disturbing, like some people did. But it is pretty disturbing. And you can see, like, why it was controversial when it came out. Like, I really don't understand the NC-17 rating. Like, I've seen worse movies than this. But yeah, um, I think that the director, like, I gotta look up his other films. I know he directed Dr The Driller Killer, which I haven't seen. I need to watch that one. But yeah, um, it, like I said, it's, it's a good movie. It's shot well. It's acted really well by Harvey Keitel. It kind of has like a faith, uh, faith redemption arc to it. Because there's a scene actually where Harvey Keitel is breaking down in the church and he's repenting his sins and Jesus is standing there staring at him. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I would recommend it. I don't know more, what else more to say about it. I don't want to give too much away. And, the, and I'll just say the ending is very bleak and, like, <laughs> tragic. So, yeah, it's not like a, even though it's about redemption and stuff, it's not, like, a happy movie. But anyways, that's my review.